Representative. Republican Representative Kevin Brady in Houston says today's employment report shows the president has to completely rethink what he is doing about job creation. The congressman joins us now. So what do you think the president's doing wrong, congressman? Well, I think the reason our jobs keep sort of bouncing along the bottom of the well, we keep falling behind uh, other regions and other of this world in job recovery is that our economic policies are so poorly thought out. Uh, the stimulus, much of it uh, given to state and local governments, has had really limited impact. And now, you know, the new jobs numbers, it was good to see temporary workers uh, hiring up, but we shed another 20,000 jobs. Long-term uh, unemployment's at an all-time high of over 6 million. We actually had an increase in weekly unemployment claims last week, and now they've revised the numbers. We lost almost 900,000 more jobs last year than we thought. So all those are pretty serious signs. And I keep thinking the president's going to both rethink his economic team and rethink his policies as well. And what should, what should it be morphed to, in your opinion, Representative? What do we need to be doing well, that we're I, not? Two things. Start with that uh, budget that he sent to Capitol Hill. It is any business that's looking seriously at hiring that opened up that budget had to be scared to death because all the tax increases on small businesses, on capital, on energy, on, on local real estate construction, uh, it was pretty discouraging. And then I think this new second stimulus bill that's coming through the Senate is sort of more of the same. And uh, small businesses, they're not going to bring on a $40,000 worker to get a small tax credit. Uh, most of the loans they're getting won't be from the government. It'll be from their local bank. And the feds, both the FDIC and Federal Reserve, have a very tight thumb on the, uh, on the, the, the next of our local bankers, you know, really discouraging that type of local lending. So, you know, they're saying go, go from the White House, but a lot of the policies are definitely no-no. Congressman uh, Liz and I a while back had on the, the governor of the state of Texas, Rick Perry, and we said, what's... What's the uh, the magic formula for Texas bringing in so many jobs as a net? And he said it's very simple. We just lower regulations and lower taxes. Is it really that simple? Well, it's not, but you have to have a big, uh, a good business climate. And Texas does because we do have lower taxes. We do have lower regulations, but we also have invested in international trade, uh, exporting around uh, the world, which has helped to lead our recovery energy and including uh, new technologies are a big part, obviously, of our economy. So we've got a pretty balanced economy here, but it, it really is a spirit that you can do it, get government out of the way, and it's almost the opposite of what you see in Washington. Do you think that you folks inside the Beltway, because let's call it what it is, we saw years and years across both sides of the aisle a lot of spending, that this may be a historic wake-up call with this deficit that we're looking at? Boy, it ought to be. And, you know, you were talking, I didn't follow the stock market today, but clearly this week as we watch uh, uh, Greece struggle, Portugal and Spain uh, following that same uh, struggle after them, uh, and then looking at our own debt situation, uh, you would think it'd be a huge wake-up call down the road. And the debt, again, that budget, uh, another $10 trillion of debt over the next decade, really, and that's a fairly optimistic view, um, uh, yeah, we're headed for huge trouble. And I know Republicans spent too much those last few years, but now what was an annual deficit under Republicans is now a monthly deficit under the Democrats, and uh, it is severe, the consequences of that. Congressman Kevin Brady, Republican from Texas, thank you so much for coming in, Congressman. Appreciate thank you. it. Thanks for having me.